Yeah. <laughs> uh, I found a spot. And I had to venture around quite a bit. And, uh, you know, went to this place and that place and, and um, whatever. And then uh, found a spot. I can't believe, honestly, how expensive it is to camp. Like, I, I checked out a couple, like, actual campsites, uh, which I don't normally do. Um, but I checked them out just because I thought it would be easy and whatever. And they're, like, $35 a night, which is crazy. We live in, like, this vast wilderness, and they're charging you $35 a night. So, I found this, like... Basically, I found like a logging road, so there's the odd truck that goes by. And then the other noise that you hear, that's my generator. Because uh, my inverter that I have, I have only a small inverter to like charge my phone and stuff like that. It's not big enough to charge the laptop. So I can't do that through solar power because I don't have a big enough inverter. So I fired my generator, will charge up the laptop, and uh, it'll run the fridge, it'll run everything. But um, I'm basically just using it to fire up the laptop because I am part of what I'm doing out here is writing a book, which I'll discuss more with you in the future. <laughs> so, so hold your questions on the book. Pardon me. Anyway, I really like the spot. It's beautiful. It's only like probably like three or four kilometers off of uh, a main road. Which is great. Where I was at Stave before, I think it was like 11 kilometers, about 11 kilometers off the main road, which isn't bad. Apparently, there's an even nicer spot up this road, about another 28 kilometers or 20, 27 kilometers or so. I believe I've been up there like 10 years ago, but uh, I don't know if I should head up there in the RV. So I'm going to hang here. It's really beautiful. I'll show you uh, some B roll of where I am. I really like it. Um, I charge up the laptop, work on the book, and, uh, you know, clean house a little bit. I've been working so much that it's a bit of a mess in here. So I'm going to do that stuff. And then, um, yeah. A part of the thing that I, re I recognize is that a lot of people were, have been asking me advice lately. Oh, what do you do, you know, like, under these circumstances? Or what should I do in these circumstances? Or what should I do in that circumstances? And and one of the things, as I've gotten healthier and gotten more self-love, uh, I've recognized, you know, as I'm, I'm mirroring everyone in their reflection of me, um, essentially, because I've recognized that, my, I recognize that the advice that I give to people is really, truly advice for myself. So in the last few days, like, I can't tell you how many people, and I'm like, you gotta go into the woods, and you gotta sit and stare at a tree, and you, you gotta go camping, and you gotta spend some time alone, and you gotta, you know, I'm like, oh, shit. And, uh, yeah, I think the lot, like, uh, it was just like, I heard it one last time yesterday, I'm like, I'm fucking going right now. This is ridiculous, I keep telling everyone to go, uh, but I'm not going, I got all these excuses. So here I am. And uh, it's beautiful, and I got work to do, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'll show you some B-roll. It's a nice spot. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. I just shaved my balls in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>